Uh-huh. Um, when did you first realise there was something of the performer about you? Um, I think when I used to throw loads of sickies from school and I could get around my mum, I can get around anybody, so yeah. Right, so you could basically it. pretend to be ill, so that was your yeah, first acting role. Yeah, my first role, acting this. role was I didn't like to go and do PE and stuff, so I was like, I'm not going in still, I used to pretend I was sick. And were you a bit of a show-off as well when you were little? Yeah, I've always been a bit of a show-off, I'm still a bit of a show-off, but yeah, I think I was, yeah. Was it like enjoying attention? Is that something you Yeah, I think all enjoyed? kids did, and um, yeah. I think all kids do one way or another, they'll get attention, good, bad or indifferent, but yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. And, and a pretty sort of happy, normal childhood, really. Yeah, I had a great time, really, but pretty much. Um, I did suffer some child abuse and stuff when I got into the industry, but other than mm. that, my home life was fantastic. Yeah, and so getting into acting lessons at the age of eight, what did that do for you? I loved it. It was escapism, I think, because mm. I was bullied really badly in my primary school. Um, I had my hair cut off and everything, like you said. Yeah. But actually by my second cousin, funny enough. Um but that's just kids. I think kids, all kids go through some form of bullying one way or another. And um, mm. my mum was very clever because she put me into a lot of outdoor activities away from school. So I had friends in different groups of children, not just uh, not just my peers at school. Mm. So I had other children, you know, to turn to, which was great because I, it meant I had escapism from being bullied. 